today we're going to be turning this drum and this speaker into a badass DIY sub kick like this. This is a spare little rack tom that I had um, that I bought with a drum kit. And I believe it's about the same size as this 8 inch woofer. This is uh, an older Yamaha NS style speaker. Flip the back around. I, this is what it came out of. Replaced it with an HSA woofer, but it is a Yamaha NS8738. Uh, it was like a hi fi speaker, but along the same family of the NS10. A lot of classic sub kicks used NS10 woofers, but I don't have a spare NS10 woofer, so I'm gonna use this eight inch and we're gonna see what the results are. I'm using a drill to remove this drum head. It was just the fastest way. You can go ahead and roast me in the comments. I'm prepared for it. The hoop will actually help reinforce the speaker and give it some rigidness. Plus, I'm gonna be using the steel chassis for our ground. Luckily, it fits in real nice and snug. Looks like something we bought. Okay, so now we've got our XLR cable, and this is shielded Mogami cable. Um, and I have a Neutrik style connector here with a male end on it. We're also going to check the impedance of our sub kick. More than likely, we're going to need to build some sort of uh, attenuator. And if we get out our meter, we can see that the speaker by itself reads about six ohms. And a six ohm microphone, I think, will be very loud. I'm also gonna try to rig the third pin because the speaker just has a negative and positive. The third pin of it, I'm gonna try to mount just to the chassis. Um, so maybe that'll help with the noise also. My thought is, take a 1000 ohm resistor and 100 ohm resistor and put one across the one in parallel with the negative and positive and one in series with the positive and that should uh, reduce it by about 20 decibels. There's a couple of schematics online that we're going to use and just make it our own. So. We're gonna take about a foot of the Mogami cable here. Uh, we don't wanna waste it. We're really just making a, a jack, essentially, for the sub kick. Um, I'm gonna throw this end on here because I always forget wired up and don't have an end on the cable. Next, we're gonna strip it down. All right. We're going to start uh, by bridging it or going in a parallel from pin two to three with our 100 ohm resistor. All right, so we're gonna put red on two and make it positive for our connector. So we can know to connect it to the negative side on the other end, but for now red is positive and two. Next, we'll connect ground to one. It's 
So now we will take the other end of our cable that we've made and connect the positive to the negative end of the speaker. As we can see here, there's two leads. This is the negative side. This is the positive side. So we're going to connect our positive right here. We are also going to put our 1,000 ohm resistor in line with it. I'm probably just going to solder it on right there, twist it around, and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to loop it around these pliers real quick just to get a, another little connection to make it easy to solder onto. And just like that, we are soldered in line with our attenuator to our sub kick. Now, uh, we're going to connect pin one's ground to this bolt right here on the inside. And will that do anything? I'm not sure, but I think it might. Um, stands good a chance as anything else, huh? And there's our ground. All right, so not the most beautiful thing in the world. Started kind of snagging on me, but you can see our resistor. It's in series right here, our uh, 100 ohm. And then we've got our 1,000 uh, going from pin 2 to 3 on the XLR connector. All right, here's our finished product. Just a good look at it. I put it on this boom stand that's made on this homemade base. I don't know where I got it. Um, I was gonna use some drum hardware, but I have this uh, mic clip that I have rigged up to it. It, I don't think will fall out, but anyway, here, here we go. Okay, so for the test, we're just using the Quantum Preamps. I've got it at 12 o'clock on number five. Okay, so now we're going to reduce our preamp volume by about 20% and give it a go. Well, first off, you can see why it's called a sub kick because it's like super sub frequencies. If I tried that with this mic that I'm using right now, my voice, we wouldn't even pick up anything in this range. Now all you gotta do is add a little bit of EQ and compression. This will give you a good sound that you can combine with an attack heavy mic to get the perfect kick tone. Thanks again for watching. I got a whole lot more on the way.